I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you. I think for a lot of people, a conversation about civility feels um, like it misses the mark. Mm. Jose, uh, we've been uh, told by several law enforcement officials that a man was arrested overnight near the home of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. He was armed with a gun, a knife and pepper spray and told authorities that he was there to kill the justice. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you don't have to be a psychic to have known that some Democrat nub job was going to try and take out one of the judges. I made the prediction several times myself because it was obviously going to happen. I mean, just look how comfortably this college socialist threatens bloodshed if the SCOTUS ruling doesn't go the way she wants it to. We are a Marxist Leninist organization. We do believe in class war. As we see right now, um, peaceful protests aren't, you know, getting getting us much. We can't vote our way out of this. We need a new society, and in order to do that, there probably will be some. I'm your Huckleberry. But instead of condemning the threatening protest at judges' homes, they actually promoted it and ran cover for it. But the real questions and conversation today about protests outside Supreme Court justices' houses, particularly Justice Kavanaugh. Um, where do you think that line is? I think for a lot of people, the, a conversation about civility feels um, like it misses the mark. Mm. So far, all of the protests have seemed overwhelmingly nonviolent. Uh, there are plenty of protests that happen every single day in this country, around the country. Yes, there are going to be protests in front of Kavanaugh's house because people are angry. What about trying to apply equal standards? You know, if there were Republicans protesting outside liberal justices and, and the toner tenor got hot, do you think it would be the same principles at play? Or would, would some people be having a different opinion? It, it is the same principle, um, although people would react differently. Bon, 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 bon. The idea that it's okay to show up to a judge's home before a ruling and protest is completely insane. How can you trust a judge's ruling if they're being intimidated to change them? Does anybody think for one second that we're going to see a push by the media to find out who this guy watched on cable news or what books he read or what websites he was a member of and then try to attach his actions to the words of Democrats or the media? No, no, fuck, no. Of course not. Instead, they're actually going to try and blame both sides and their political opponents. Uh, very little detail at this point, Kate, other than to say uh, it's an, uh, this man is, uh, he's an adult man from California. We don't yet know what the nature of the threat was. We don't know what language the threat was. Oh yeah, it's a real mystery. I'm legitimately surprised they aren't trying to tie it to January 6th. Uh, or what kind of weapon this man might have had, uh, if he had one at all, uh, because the information at this point uh, is just so thin. He was armed with a gun, a knife, and pepper spray and told authorities that he was there to kill the justice. Supreme Court justices will certainly be, you know, potentially targeted by violent extremists who are angered over this pending ruling that is poised to strike down Roe v. Wade. This is an extremely passionate issue. There are emotions on both sides. I think you're engaging in both sides, isn't there, Josh? They do everything that you would predict. They try to downplay what happened and pass the blame on to their political opponents. Something else I'm noticing, this lady looks familiar to me, and that's because one month Month ago, she was already setting the groundwork to deflect and put the blame on her political opponents. What are authorities fearing could happen? Well, the major risk here, based on the conversations I've had with several members of law enforcement throughout the week, is that there is a very real concern here. Uh, the possibility that someone would commit an act of violence against abortion providers, uh, against the clinics. They are also very closely monitoring threats that have uh, erupted, really, on social media. I should caution, though, there are no specific credible threats. I just want to point out that they make all these claims about right-wing threats, then just kind of sneakily throw in there that there are no actual credible threats. But in fact, there are, from left-wingers. Left-wingers from a group called Ruth Sent Us, who have right on their website that, quote, we must rise up to force accountability using a diversity of tactics along with the addresses of all the conservative judges.
Both sides? Both sides aren't showing up to the homes of judges to intimidate them. Both sides aren't making threats. Why would the right wing want to make threats to these judges? They want Roe v. Wade overturned. Now, of course, I'll admit this is a brand new story. We don't have all the facts yet. But according to some of the reporting, the guy had a gun, a knife, and pepper spray, and admitted that he was there to kill Kavanaugh. All right, folks, not a whole lot to say on this yet, because like I said, it is a breaking news story, but I wanted to get it out to you all. If you enjoyed it, please share the video, hit that like button, and then subscribe. Leave a comment to let us all know what you think.